was, uh, as you noted, our new office for new Americans that we created to make sure immigrants, regardless of where they came from, regardless of their country of origin, always felt welcome here in the city of Chicago. So whether you're from Mexico or the Mideast, Poland or Pakistan, India or Israel, regardless of where you have come from or Ireland, I want to make sure that everybody understands that the city of Chicago always has a welcome mat for new immigrants. The story and the history of the city of Chicago, while it is a city of big shoulders, the shoulders it's built on, the city is built on the shoulders of new immigrants who have come here to build the American dream. And I tell that story because while my grandfather came to this country in 1917 as a 13-year-old by himself, and my father came as an immigrant in 1959, not by himself because he met my mother here originally, the story in Albany Park, Humboldt Park, Rogers Park, Jefferson Park, Washington Park, every neighborhood, every community throughout the city of Chicago is built and told by the immigrants who've come here to build and create the American dream. And one of the most... For decades now, Illinois has been an immigrant-friendly state. Under the leadership of Republican governors and Democratic governors and mayor after mayor and leader after leader, we have said we are proud in Chicago and in Illinois to be an immigrant-rich state. So let's thank all of them for their bipartisan support. Let me just say a couple more things. One is the key to comprehensive immigration reform, the only word we are listening for, the words we're listening for, is a direct path to citizenship. That's it. Nothing else matters. If they want to talk about, well, first we have to get border security, and then we could have a special card for this, or we could do something else for the parent, no. The only meaning of immigration reform is a direct path to citizenship now. So, so the time for comprehensive immigration reform is now. And when, because we have to remember that when we get comprehensive immigration reform, we are not going to need new facilities like the CCA facility in Joliet. And that we can all start working for good, permanent jobs for all Americans. And when we, so, you know, we have to get our Republican colleagues out of their helicopters and onto the negotiating table. And we have to, and when they do, we have to welcome with open arms those like Tom Cross, Judy Bart Trapinka, and many others who have the courage. The fact that there is hope of a bipartisan effort, and I commend on the Senate side Senator Durbin from Illinois for reaching across the aisle to Senator Rubio and the three other Republicans in the Gang of Eight, and I sincerely hope that they can come to an agreement that once and for all solves this great federal problem and this embarrassment for our country. But whether you're a Republican or you're a Democrat, or regardless of your background or your nationality or ethnicity, don't we all care about a couple of key things? The first being our families. Yeah. Our families. And as I sat there and I listened to, whether it was Lawrence over the years, or listening at the national level, level from some of the congressional folks, whether it was in-state tuition that I'm glad I supported, and the DREAM Act that I supported, and the driver's license bill I supported, I sat there and, I, and, and as I thought about that, I thought about my own family, and I thought about your families, and as Senator Murphy said, why should anybody be scared to get to work? Why should anybody be scared to take their kid to the emergency room? Why should anybody be scared about making sure their kid gets to school? And when you think about the DREAM Act, shouldn't we give our family members, young and old, the opportunity to get an education and provide for them. So at the end of the, all, at the, end of the day, we, we can provide for our families, make a living, a decent living, and take care of ourselves. So that's in, at the end of the day, we talk about family values as Republicans. 
That are, those are family values that we all share. So as we move forward at the federal level, whether we're Republicans or Democrats, it is about fairness. It is about justice. It is about equality. At the end of the day, it's about our families and making sure they're intact and that we can take care of them. So I'm hopeful that we can put aside political differences on both sides of the aisle and don't play politics and pass a meaningful, comprehensive immigration reform bill very, very soon. Thank you all very much.